Here we will discuss about the application of some of the PERMA branded products. For application you need necessary tools such as nylon bristled brushes, small and large, roller brushes, trowels, float and putty blade, wire brush, hard nylon brush, chipping hammer, hammer and chisel, masking tape, bucket, mug and mixing pan, measuring jar, cleaning tools, spray bottle etc. Surface Preparation Before application of any waterproofing treatment, it is necessary to prepare the surface for the treatment. This is achieved by chipping, wire brushing and thorough cleaning to remove all loose particles, dust, dirt till a sound concrete surface is visible. Perma Seal Perma Seal is a product used in waterproofing of water retaining structures such as water tanks, underground or overhead, swimming pools, sunk slabs of bathrooms and toilets, basements and retaining walls. Perma Seal is in the form of brown or grey powder, available in 1 kg, 5 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg sacks. When mixed in proportion of 2.5 volume of powder to 1 volume of water, it produces a hot slurry. Here it is mixed in the proportion of 5 volumes of powder to 2 volumes of water. Thoroughly wet the surface to be treated so that it is fully saturated with water and at the same time ensure that no stagnant water is there on the surface. Then apply perma seal slurry to the surface with a brush so that the entire surface is effectively coated with the slurry. This slurry or the perma seal coat dries very fast. If a protective plaster is desired over the surface, then apply the plaster immediately after the perma seal slurry application. If there are any honeycombed concrete to be repaired or cracks to be rectified before application of the perma seal slurry, it is done with perma seal modified mortar. This mortar is prepared by mixing cement, perma seal, and sand in the proportion of 1 is to 1 is to 4 and water for getting the right consistency of mortar for this kind of use. This mortar is applied on wet perma seal slurry as bonding agent. Perma Guard Perma Guard is a waterproofing product usually recommended on roofs, external walls, bridge girders and podium slabs. Perma Guard is a two-component waterproofing product composed of a liquid and powder which are pre-measured and packed. This product is available in 5 kg, 10 kg and bulk packaging. When the two components are mixed together, you get smooth consistency slurry. This slurry is applied onto the surface which is cleaned, pre-wetted or primed with a 4-inch wide brush uniformly. If a protective plaster or sweed is needed, it should be applied when the perma guard film is still wet and tacky or else a bonding agent will be required thereafter. Perma Shield Perma Shield is a waterproofing product in liquid form. This is highly effective in wide range of applications in waterproofing various leaky situations. This product is just mixed with ordinary cement in the proportion of 1 is to 1 by volume and brush applied on the prepared and primered surface, taking care to see that the entire surface is effectively covered. Perma Polycrate Perma Polycrate is a polymer modified mortar in powder form available in various packings. When mixed in proportion of 1 kg powder to 120 ml of water, it makes a stiff consistency paste, which upon drying becomes an extremely strong non-shrink mortar. This mortar is extremely useful in filling the cable duct cutouts in plaster and concrete. This is also used in repairing broken concrete and mortar and also repairing cracks below the beam bottom and column junctions. Perma Damp Guard EP Perma Damp Guard EP is a two-component material with a base and a reactor. These are water-based dispersible epoxies, hence environmentally safe 
as well as safe for handling. When the pre-packed two components are first mixed within the container and then together in a pan and an equal amount of water is added, you get a homogeneous slurry. This slurry can be easily applied with a brush onto the damp surfaces on the walls where there is a rising dampness and for general waterproofing in any situation. Since this product offers a smooth, hygienic dried surface, it is often used in hospitals, pharmaceutical factories, kitchens and food processing laboratories. Perma DPS Perma DPS is a deep penetrating sealer which is supplied in liquid form. This is diluted in the proportion of one part perma DPS to four parts of water. This mixture is sprayed applied or brushed upon to the surfaces to be waterproofed. This is highly effective on bricks, blocks, aerated masonry blocks, hollow blocks, clay tiles, plastered surfaces, concrete surfaces, etc. After application, the surface becomes water repellent. The treated surface can be plastered or painted without affecting its performance. Anchorfix 80 Anchorfix 80 is a polyester-based grout useful for anchoring reinforcement and double bars in the concrete for extension of structural member or for rising the columns from the rock bedding. This is a two-component material. If you mix the two components, you get a stiff paste. This paste is inserted or filled in the drilled hole on the concrete or the rock. Then the reinforcing rod is inserted and held in position till it hardens. This product develops a strength of more than 800 kgs per centimeter square. Structural Rehabilitation The whole weight of the building comes onto the beams which is transferred to the ground through its columns. Hence, the beams and the columns are the most important part of the building as they carry the total load of the structure. Failure of these will result in the collapse of the building itself. The main reinforcement of the beam is at the bottom and the main column reinforcement are at its periphery. These reinforcements often get corroded because of ingress of corroding elements from the atmosphere in the presence of moisture. When the steel corrodes, it expands many times its original volume. The onset of corrosion in the building can be diagnosed from the presence of cracks and swellings in the areas of the beam and columns where steel reinforcements are expected to be there. The cracks such as these suggest an advanced stage of corrosion. Buildings in the coastal region are subjected to corrosion faster. Careful removal of the cover concrete after providing adequate supports whenever required exposes corroded steel which comes out reducing steel from its original size. Such buildings are unsafe for living as they can collapse any time. Such buildings can be rehabilitated by re-strengthening and made worthy of living once again. This rehabilitation process involves careful removal of cover concrete from the reinforcements to the extent it is corroded and cleaning them with wire brush. Additional reinforcements are added and welded to the existing reinforcement to make good the loss of steel which is lost in corrosion. The main chemical used in rebuilding and repairing this kind of damage is Perma Bond SBR. SBR stands for Styrene Butadiene Rubber. This is a milky white liquid which is indispensable in rehabilitation of corrosion damaged structures. Perma Bond SBR is mixed with cement in the proportion of 1 is to 1 by volume. Here, two measures of SBR is mixed with two measures of cement. This slurry is brush applied on the cleaned sound reinforcement and onto the added reinforcements if any. This coat acts as a passivator coat or a coating that prevents further corrosion of steel in future. After this passivator coating dries up, say after an hour or so, the concrete surface is made good 
with a mortar prepared by mixing 1 kg of cement 2 and a half kgs of zone 2 sand 200 ml of perma bond sbr and 150 ml of water this mortar is applied on sbr and cement slurry applied all over the broken concrete and the reinforcement as a bond coat the mortar is hand packed in layers of 20 mm further build up is achieved in layers of 20 mm build up on mechanical key created on the first mortar layer when it is still soft and on the fresh bonding slurry applied this mortar is usually stronger than the parent concrete